Hi, I'm Alison Pryor and I teach acrylic paintings and drawings for beginners and all levels. And today I'm going to show you how to paint a beautiful husky. Now this is the, the reference photo we're going to use. So the reference photo I put on my canvas and I'm going to show you how to transfer this to your canvas so we can get started painting. I gotta clean my brush really good because I gotta fix that eye that I messed up there. So either get another brush or clean off that one really good. Pick up some white. Let's get that fixed up. Make it look nice and round. There we go. Add more white here just to brighten it up. Good. And now the, the eyes are blue, so we'll add blue to our brush and white. Get a really light blue. And then we're going to add that here. It's too light, so we're going to need more blue. Now the paint is still wet here, so that's good because when you put your blue on, the white will blend in with the white, blue. The white blue will blend and you get that really pretty bluish color. Nice. I'm gonna add a little more blue and darken it a little darker up here. Leave the bottom a lighter blue. That will bring that out more then, see? See? No, it's not the reference photo, but it'll be nice. See how it brings it out more? Good. Now, let's play around with the tongue for a minute. So the tongue has a black line there, doesn't it? So I've got a chiseled edge brush. I'm just going to make sure. All right, so... centered nose matches up with the center of the nose and come down come down until it fades out on the bottom here it comes down about let's see let's see the edge of that fur look look where the fur is where the fur ends and just soften it up there go that's that and then it has kind of um i'm going to add some black to my blue and uh it seems to oh that's not good let's go with um what about if let's see uh black and wipe off your brush and then Scrub that on there, but I don't not sure if I like that or not. Because it's really dark in here because of the shadow. A little bit of shadow down here. Shade it. I'm just kind of don't have much paint on my brush. I just trying to experiment now on what will look nice. Not sure. So that's the shadow, but I want to get it more, I want to get that pink, kind of a pinkish, purplish color, wasn't it, the tongue? So we got blue. Let's try some blue and some red. That looks all right there. That looks, that's the color it is, isn't it? No, it's not. Apply more red, a bit of white. Oh yeah, clean off my brush, I get too much blue on it. Okay, now, 
Let's see, let's see. I'm going to pick up this one here and lay it over here. And I'm going to add some white to it. And I'm going to brighten up that tongue a little bit. Maybe not too bright. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Let's get that edge here. Just moving it around that shadow that I made. Now, if you can find an easier way to do it, you go right ahead. But I think I just lost a tongue. I'm just gonna go over that because I don't like, I'd kind of rather that color tongue. I'll put shadows back in after. Sorry, I hope I didn't confuse you too much. But I'm kind of, like I never practiced this. I'm kind of doing it, uh, you know, and I have to make decisions while I'm filming it. Some people will paint it first and then do the video, but it would take many days to do that. And which is fine, but uh, I have a, a lot of videos that I have to put up before going on a little holiday, so, you know. But I don't, I don't wanna take days doing one painting. I find that if I'm doing a painting in front of you and I'm s struggling myself, you can see, right? Because if you look at videos and you think, how come I can't? How come they're doing so fast? How come they're doing so good? I don't want, I'd rather for you to see what I'm doing and know that, you know, we all struggle no matter how much experience you have, right? That's that. I'll clean off my brush. Put a bit of shadow up here, put it back. I add a little bit of black to my brush, my dirty brush, and I wiped it off so that I don't have as much paint. And now all the paint is wet, so now you can blend it a bit, right? Like that. And then up under here. Get a little more black, but wipe off your brush because you don't want it to be too much. Swipe off your brush, kind of have like a dry brush effect. And while the paint's all wet, you can blend it, see? And now I'm going to fix up that center part, make it a little more darker right here. So you can see it. Fix that line underneath the lip there. And um, we'll do a little highlighting. I'm gonna add some white to that pink color I made. So it's lots of white. And just a little bit of a highlight on the edge here to bring that out. Maybe a little more. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, it's a struggle. Here we go. I just add a bit more white and red to get more of a pinkish color on the edges here. So you can see the edges are nice and bright, right? That's better. That's better. There we go. That separates it from that little edge here, separates it from that dark inside there. This here is too bright. we go now if you want to if you feel like you need to get more shadow in here just add a little more black to your brush and put it in there that's nice 
I think that's good. I'm gonna, now we got the snout. We have the snout. All right, the snout is black. And we will go with the black. And we will touch up the edges here, make sure it's, because I kind of messed that up there, so I'm gonna fix that. And what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna add white to my black, make it gray, light gray. A light gray, so just add white to your black dirty brush and see. And that will go up here. There, around there. Clean off your brush. Go back into black and finish up, clean up this edge here. Just go in there and smooth that out, come on up here. Put that together like that, and you get that little shine on the nose there, see? So you do it again. Good, and then you can go back in with some black. Move it all in together. Come down the center a little bit to give it a bit of a shape. That looks better. Not fussy about that. There we go. Put some black on that. I'm using the corner of my brush right now to get these little parts here. Let's see if I get that black to show up. Picture, see they're really dark, so I'm just gonna just tapping away at it till I can see what I can come up with. Nice and dark down there, see? And then you can take the cornier brush, a little bit of white on it, and give it that little bit of a, a little bit of that so that you can see where the nostrils are. Now you can see where the nostrils are. A little bit, you know, tedious work. I don't call it work, I enjoy it. But if I was doing this I could probably do this over a day or two, you know, just I take breaks and things like that. But right now I'm constantly working at it so I can get it done for you before I before I run out of time to go to my little holiday. That's okay, that looks good. Now all we gotta do now is you can still I gotta fix the ears up. This face, what can we do with that? I mean it's pretty white. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some, what I'm thinking. So I'm going to take a really light blue on my chisel edge brush. And I'm just going to try to get some shading in here.
Got to have some kind of shading in there. Can't be pure white, even though it's pure white in the picture. But in order to uh, to look like fur, I'm gonna put something there, blue or gray. How cute is that little little purple nose? All right, let's try um, adding some fur. I'm just gonna take a long liner brush. See if I can add some fur. There we go. Keep reloading. I think we're getting to the end. I mean, yeah, you can keep adding layers of fur if you want. I'm going to... I think I've shown you enough that you can probably get started on it anyway. It's a long video. I might do it in parts. There we go. Probably a chiseled edge brush might give you better results. Try different brushes. Try to make sure you try to get the fur to, you know, go in different directions or follow the direction of the way the fur looks that you think it would look. we go bits of fur standing up too I don't I think I'll leave that gives it more of a realistic look doesn't it kind of nice isn't it got a furry look to it see if we can do something with I think I got the eyes okay I think I think so we can get a little more there we go layer 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 because your first couple of layers are going to look really weird, right? And then when you start layering, you'll see that things start to come together. Please don't try to make it exactly the same as mine or the reference photo. Just try to get the fur. Fur is the most important thing in the eyes, the snout and tongue, right? But don't worry about to practice your fur. Look at that. That's better. That's much better than what I had before because the first layer is going to look weird. It's just your base coat. It's like when you're building a house or something. You put the foundation down and then you start adding your layers of wood and whatever else you need to use. But, you know, you have to have a structure. Add some water if you got to. to get it to move more. And 
Now, when you're sitting down, you can keep going like that. You're probably right-handed. Some of you guys are probably right-handed, so you might end up doing the opposite of what I'm doing. But as long as you get that fur on these little strokes, you'll be fine. You know, you might want to go out instead of in. So I keep saying I'm going to sit down and do paintings. So I find it, I don't know, I like standing up. It's just I'm on the side and I, you know, it's hard to get. Sometimes one side looks better than the other when I paint. <laughs> Sometimes. I should look at the reference photo, see what way the fur is. There we go. Layer, layer, layer. Be afraid to go into the black because like I said on dogs their fur all intermingles with each other right these little furry things don't know where else you want to add some extras see it's a little bit different than the reference photo isn't it that's okay I don't mind. I'm having fun. And you have fun when you feel you're in control. If your brush is controlling you, your paint is controlling you, then you feel like you're struggling and you're not having a good time. Okay? So you have got to take control and not worry about it being perfect, not worrying about just you're trying to paint fur, try to make it look like fur. Doesn't matter if the colors are exactly the same as a reference photo or anything, just as long as it looks like fur. Best way you can, all right? Using the right brushes and all that stuff. So. Now I can't stop, see? See? See what's happening? Having too much fun. That's why I end up overdoing it. So that's nice here. This little guy has uh, he has whiskers too, right? I should stop, you know. Maybe I'll do the edges here a little bit. <laughs> oh my! I'm gonna get in trouble. I'm gonna get in trouble. It's nice brightening up those edges, isn't it nice? I think we're okay, you know? I should leave it alone, I guess. Got lots of stuff there. I should leave it alone. I know I could do lots more, you know? There's some little... It's cute. I think it's different. I know it's different, but I think it's cute. Just a few highlights or something. Bring out the fur a little bit more. Because I should stop. I know I'm... I know. Look how nice that fur came out though. Look at it, it's so soft and so nice. Those little highlights bring it out more, look. I 
think I'll stop now, even though I like to keep going, but I know you guys must be anxious to uh, have the video over with so you can get started. But you can stop any time and start, you know what I mean? Like you can stop and, and go and go back to it. Let's see what else I gotta do. I think that's it. I think that's it. I really think that's it. I should leave it alone, I guess. blackness in there. Clean that up here. So go back and look at anything that you think Needs a little extra. Spend as much time on it as you want. If you're having fun, just keep doing it. But look how nice that, that fur blended together. Isn't that nice? Do the same over there, but I'm not going to continue going on because if I don't end it, you're never going to get started. So I'm looking at it to see what else I need. I think that's it. You can do a nice background, you know, nice blue or light blue background or something. Uh, you know, whatever kind of background you want, or you can leave it white. Probably add a little sky or something. This this has some green on top, which is kind of nice. You know? I'm going to send you the reference photo. And, or I'm going to tell you where you can get it anyway. And I think that's it. I think that's it. You know? Put a few bits of weight over that. There's too much there. So you'll notice things as you're going along. You'll notice, oh, that needs a little bit of this. That needs a little bit of that. And you'll... It's nothing wrong with that, you know. That's what you're doing. You're, you're observing. The more observing that you do, the more you'll see things, and then you'll be able to fix them up. Once you're happy with it, leave it alone, because you could, you could do something that will destroy it completely. I thought there was something else I want to do, but I can't see. I think I'm done. I need a husky dog. It's, uh, it's nice. Lots of fur. All right, so I hope you learned a lot today and I hope you enjoyed this video and I will be seeing you in the next video. So goodbye for now from Alison Pryor. So that's the drawing and that's the painting. I like it. I hope you do.